so let's see what's there inside your resistance box here it is your resistance box we have already removed the screws and here we go inside this box basically it's a casing so this is not what is really necessary for us what is really important for us is this what is there under this we have coils of wires having different resistance we have coils of wire having different resistance so this is the coil then here is your second coil as you can see all these coils have different diameter and different length as well as you can see that they are slightly different type also So how are they connected they are all connected in series so let me show you this side how are they connected so this is your first coil from here this wire has come up all right and one end is gone on this pole this pole is connected to this conducting plate all right and uh, from that sorry from that conducting plate one wire comes out and goes to the coil from this coil then the next wire will go out let me show you from this coil the next wire will go out is this one here it is is going out to this pole then this pole is connected to the next conducting plate that pole is connected to the next conducting plate from the conducting plate from the conducting plate you have the wire coming out from here this is the wire and it is going in the coil it goes in the coil and then again from the coil from the coil the next wire comes out is here going to the pole and then so on and so such that all these coils are connected in series In a resistant box, typically you will have a 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 5 ohm, 10 ohm, 15 ohm, and then you have it keeps on increasing depending upon the range. And the final resistance that you have is usually a infinite resistance. Can you guess which one is an infinite resistance? Here is the infinite resistance. this gap and infinite resistance is open space there is no coil put in so if you see here this is your infinite you remove this key we say that the infinite resistance is active so when you remove this key basically what happens current goes from here comes over here and then here there is a gap which is not connected to anything this this point this conducting plate is not connected to anything so you get an infinite resistance so this is all that you have inside a, a resistance box basically a coil different coils of wires